So you've probably heard about chat GPT and using AI powered chatbots to create content. So this short video, I just want to walk through some examples about how you might use it uh, in your content creation process, whether it's coming up with social media posts or blog posts or just idea generation. Um, I just want to show some examples and walk you through what the tool looks like. So this is the actual tool itself. It's basically built as a chat or a dialogue function where you can type in a command that's a chat command to the AI tool, and then it'll give you a response based on what you say. The real big challenge of using these tools is understanding how to give them specific commands that give you the results you want. Um, if you're too broad, if you don't give it the structure you need, uh, you won't always get good data back. Uh, so really what you need to do is learn how to make those commands. And over time, you'll get better at doing that too. And you'll iterate and get better and better at getting good results. But really, you know, where they're at right now um, and how I recommend my clients use them is not to write fully fleshed out content from scratch for you because you're not going to be happy with the results from that perspective. Um, but what they're really good for right now, I think, are idea generation, creating structured content, and then filling in specific content needs, um, whether again, for it's a blog post, social media post, email, website, whatever it might be, um, kind of filling gaps in some content. So for example, uh, we'll just pretend that we are creating a blog post all about cold emailing strategies. So the very first thing I'll do is try and create a general idea um, or have it help me come up with ideas about a blog post that might be good about cold email strategies. So really broadly, I'll just tell it to write me a blog post about cold email strategies. And what you'll see is that it'll actually in real time show you its results. Um, I'm guessing that's probably more theatrics. Um, these tools probably go through, get sent to a server, they get a response back based on the query, they have an answer pretty quickly, and then they, they give you this nice animated response back. So you feel like you're talking to a robot, but in reality, it's probably not coming in that way. But someone can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong on that one too. But you'll see here, um, in this case, it's writing this blog post for me um, about cold emails. So it's basically saying, here's the opening, um, talking about how it's a useful way to reach potential clients, customers, partners, and that's giving me um, some strategies about how I might do cold emailing. Again, they're all pretty good. Um, you know, make sure you have a clear purpose of your email, research your recipient, use a, a personalized subject line, keep it short and sweet. Good suggestions. Um, but you know what I talk about often is like, I wouldn't just copy and paste this and make this a blog uh, article on a website. There's not enough content there. It's not really formatted well. There's probably a lot of you know things might be missing to give some more storytelling ability. Um, or provide more context for my readers. Um, but where this is really good is that it gives you a good basis for an idea of how you might write your blog post. So you might take this and this might be, you know, 30, 20, 30% of what your blog post might be, but then you can take these ideas and then expand on them. So that's how I might use it for um, idea generation. So next we'll look at how you might use it to do structured data. So a common structured data thing that you might use is something like looking up frequently asked questions. Um, this can help a lot with research and looking for keywords, looking for common content you, people might want to consume from you. Um, but, or, you know, if you're trying to, again, fill out a social media post or blog post or an email, um, you might just want to have an FAQ section uh, and see what the, what the world of, of content and AI generates for you. So um, I'll just say, what are some common questions about cold emailing. Let's just see what it says here. <clears throat> so again, right away, giving me nice, good content here. So common questions about cold emailing. How do I find the email address of the person I want to contact? What should I include in the subject line? How can I make my cold email stand out in the Cyprian's inbox? So again, these are all great FAQ style responses that I might then take these if I'm, if I'm a, a content expert, um, not meaning content strategy, but as in like an expert in what I'm writing about, which might be you and your business um, and your industry, you can then take these FAQs and then turn them into blog posts or turn them into social media posts. Um, so using your expertise, obviously the answers aren't here. You could ask them the answer for some of these things, um, but the answers aren't here. But what you do know because the fact that these chat GPT and AI programs are crawling the web for their data, 
um, and then applying some AI logic to it. These are real legitimate questions people are asking about this topic. So this would be a great starting point from a you know expertise or a thought leader standpoint to use these structured data responses as a way to build out your content strategy. So finally, the last thing we'll look at is using something like ChatGPT to fill in content gaps. So again, we're going back to our example, we're writing a blog post about cold emailing. Um, but really what I need right now is just a definition of what is a cold email. So I'm going to go in here and say, what is a cold email? <clears throat> and this might be great for filling out a paragraph or two um, at the beginning of a blog post um, or as a subheading or a subsection within a blog post. Because um, when that first query we had, it did briefly explain what a cold email was, but it wasn't very deep, right? So in this case, this one paragraph response um, gives a good you know, three to four sentence definition of what a cold email is. So I might take this and edit it slightly to put into the blog post um, in that definition section, or um, say, what are the benefits of cold emailing? This might give me a list, might be not quite the same as far as um, as a list again. So that again, you might be able to use and kind of fill in content pieces. But I think when you ask the what is a and then blank, um, that really helps with kind of filling in some of that missing content, which again, I think is a really powerful way uh, to use a tool like ChatGPT. There's others out there too. There's paid things like Jasper AI um, that I took a look at, uh, and that was more geared towards content creation and having more templates that you can use specifically for content creation. So hopefully it was helpful just to give you an introduction to tools like ChatGPT and AI writing assistance. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments. Um, and if, for me personally, you know, I think these tools are clearly starting to hit mainstream. They're starting to become useful. The interface is good enough now where people can use it for more common things. Um, they're still not going to replace good writers or good strategy. If anything, they're going to enhance good writers and enhance good strategy. Um, but I, th I think they're kind of they're still in their early infancy too. So. Um, I'm kind of excited to see where these things go forward and how you might be able to use them in your digital strategy.